All right, well, we go to the top of the eighth. The new pitcher is Adrian Martinez. There's Noda off his glove. And a beautiful oh, feed oh, to Martinez, oh, and he gets the out. How about that? Spin some magic, big fella. He fielded this ball between his legs. Ryan Noda going to kick it a little bit, and then with the throwing hand between the legs. Are you kidding me with that? How about it? Drop a dime one time. And how about Amar becoming a first baseman? Oh, hit the right and hit well. Go back, Loriano, and leaps up, and Loriano makes the catch. <laughs> Once again, the laser said, give me that. I mean, Dosky, you can watch him timing this thing up, and the laser creeping back, taking stock of where he's at, elevates right at the wall. Wow. Here's Goldschmidt, a three-hit day today. Home run, home run, a single, a stolen base. Oh, my Launched out God. to left. Goodbye! Three home runs for Paul Goldschmidt. The reigning National League most valuable player has been the most valuable player of the day today, big time. A three homer game for Goldie, and this one was a bomb in the big Mac land. That will get away and from third base. Scoring, no, he's gonna be out. Sullivan got him on the tag. Brad Sullivan went and got it and then dove towards Garcia and tagged him out as he slid head first into home plate. Sullivan immediately turned to the umpire like, I got him. Got him right on the rear end as he went by. Great play. Recognizing that he didn't have time to flip it to Martinez. One bounce, Kike a slide. Oh. He's going to throw. Close play. Out oh. at first. Kike cuts him down. A brilliant play on a bang bang play to get Tatis Jr. Incredible play. Do it, Kike. What a play by Kike and a great stretch from Tristan Casas. Beautiful. One step out in the grass, kind of fell down to a knee. One hopper gets up quick and just throws one hop to Casas. One of the plays of the year. The walls are closing in on Craig Kimbrell. And Max Muncy's coming up with a winning run 90 feet away. Swings uh -oh. at the first pitch, unloads down the line. Grand <laughs> slam. Only needed one. He'll take them all. What a game. The Dodgers trailed five to nothing after two and a half. And the Dodgers have won six consecutive games. Bouncing ball to third. Oh, what a play at third base. Miller across the diamond in time. Wow. wow. No kidding. Miller not only robs Myers of a hit, but saves another run from scoring. Yeah, Myers robbed Miller to save a run. Now Miller robs Myers. I think I have that right. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> well done. <laughs> nice play at third base. This ball hit pretty well to center field. Myers all the way back. He'll watch this one. Makes the catch. Oh, what a catch, what a what a catch, catch. by Jake. Crashes against the wall at almost full speed. That was a phenomenal play. He was wide open when he hit the wall and caught the ball. Heck of a play there to take an extra base hit away. Wow. And the Dodgers find themselves one swing away from this being an entirely different ball game. Still sitting on 299 career homers. Lifts it in the air to center field. New bars going back. He's at the track. He's at the wall. And 300 is a grand slam. Freddie Freeman joins the 300 home run club in grand style and changes the game in the process. The Dodgers have scored five runs in the inning, and it's 9-7. Fly ball, left center on the run is Bader! Dives and makes the play! Oh, what a play! Bader just saved two runs with that catch. Boy, what a difference you've seen since Harrison Bader has been back in center field. He is making play after play. You're right, Michael. I mean, some plays are bigger than others. When you make this play out on the warning track with bases loaded, you're taking runs off the board for now. 
High fly ball, deep right. Backing up Judge, he's on the track, he's at the wall, he leaps, and he makes the play! Oh, what a night for Aaron Judge! That is incredible. He went about two feet over this wall. You know, there's a little secret in Major League Baseball. This guy's really good. He's facing Kyle Tucker, who hits a high fly ball. Deep right center. Back toward the fence is Cody Bellinger. And leaping. Did he make the catch? Yeah, he did. He made an unbelievable yeah, he catch. Possibly stole a home run with an impossible play on the warning track. A leaping catch against the wall. He fell forward, held on to the ball. The inning is over. Tremendous play by Kike from the knees. He's going to oh. get him, and he's out. He cut down Jansen. That is highway robbery from <laughs> Kike Hernandez at short. Magnificent play. That's going to be the play of the year for Kike. That is an incredible dive. Lay out from your knees. One hop. Wow. Got him. Little blooper off the bat of Jimenez. Neto chasing. He slides. He made a juggling catch. It's going to be a double play. The throw to first retires Arias. Another tremendous play by Zach Neto. He's playing double play depth, so he's got to go back on it, slides, and still manages to catch it on the bobble. What a play. This is game number 12 on the year for Morrell with the Cubs. He has gotten at least one hit in the previous 11. Fly ball, left field, as if on cue, it is gone! He's gone yard again, wow! And this one scraped the clouds. Just remarkable what he is doing, five consecutive games now with a home run for Christopher Morrell. The set in the 0-1. Curve ball put in the air, right center field, hit well. Going back is Mullins, still racing after it, lunges after it, he makes a catch! On the warning track, diving head first in front of the LED board. You will see that one on highlight reels all night from Cedric Mullins. There was no way that he was going to catch this ball when it came off the bat. Cedric Mullins, Superman! So and so, and now Holderman's one pitch away from an immaculate inning here in the seventh. Swing and a miss, he struck out the side. Beautiful inning for Colin Holderman. That was, that was an immaculate inning. Was it nine pitches? Nine pitches, an immaculate inning for Colin Holderman. That's amazing. Look at that. That's immaculate. One more. Can he get it? 0 2. Got him. Got him, immaculate. Oviedo. Oviedo strikes out the side in that fourth inning, and he does so on nine pitches. An immaculate inning for Johan Oviedo. And so far, the Pirates coming up with their second immaculate inning of the month. Colin Holderman did it at Tampa Bay, and before that, it was Juan Nicasio back in 2016, so it had been a while. Caprillion throws and it's swung on lifted third base side foul territory long run Peterson toward the bullpen on the bullpen mounds and he makes an unbelievable catch goes head over heels and he goes into the ace area where they the bullpen guys are sitting back behind the short wall down there and an amazing catch by Jace Peterson and the bullpen guys coming to his rescue and he he was literally in the bullpen and then held up the baseball in his glove, signifying an incredible catch for the last out. Strider, four regular season appearances against the Phillies prior to tonight. There's a called third strike, beautiful slider. Throws Castellanos, and he argues with Dan Iasonia. Fewest innings pitched to 100 strikeouts by a starter since the mound moved to its current distance in 1893. Spencer Strider got to 100 tonight in 61 innings. Jacob deGrom took 61 and two-thirds. Again, if Mullins hits a home run here, put the birdbath on the front page of every newspaper. I mean, we take a single, too, but I'm just saying. Oh, in the right field! Mullins! Did he do it? Yes! Yes! Yes, he did! It's a tsunami! Cedric Mullins completes the cycle! and sends Camden Yards into Waterworld. Wow. Single, triple, 
double, and then a long ball here in the eighth to complete the cycle. Three balls, two strikes, the payoff pitch. Fastball in there, called strike three. Zach Granke's done it. He's struck out 1,000 different batters across his major league career. Just the fifth pitcher ever to do it. Welcome to a big, big club, Joey Weimer. And Zach Granke walks off the mound with two more strikeouts in the inning. And now deep short, Bobby Wood Jr. throws. He got him! You want outs above average? That's way above average. Look at the fully extended Jr. To his feet in his flash. Over the top of his throw. He's got tremendous skills. One hopper on the money. Beautiful play. Well, if you're going to get your 400 save, you're going to have to earn this one. The 3-2 pitch. Ground ball to third. Harrison's got it. Bobbles for a moment. Fires across the diamond in time. It's save number 400 for Craig Kimbrell. And it comes in the city where he had made his mark originally. And the Phillies win it 6-4. to four. A little individual history. That's a big number. That is awesome. on a fly ball to deep center field, sprinting back Michael Harris. Harris to the warning track. Harris will leap, and he got it! He caught the ball! <laughs> you have got to be kidding me! Michael went straight to the wall, timed his leap perfectly, and it was sorcery out there against the wall. Thing is, right after he caught it, he was the only person in the ballpark who knew where that ball was. What a magic trick! for Michael Harris. Two strikes on Travis Darno. Man at second, two down. Kenley with the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. And that's 400 for Kenley Jansen. And he does it with a strikeout in the ninth inning in Atlanta. That has to be oh so sweet for the right-hander. 400 saves. And why not do it with a flourish? A cutter at 99. Amazing story, converted catcher, career, 400 saves, and looking as good as ever.